Some of the questions that scientists always ask are, what did the earliest galaxies in the universe look like? How did they form and evolve over billions of years? And what can we learn from them about the history and future of our own galaxy? If you are also curious about these questions, then you are in luck, because in this video, we are going to talk about a groundbreaking discovery made by an international team of astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope. They found a baby galaxy that is the result of a merger of two smaller galaxies that formed early in the history of the universe. This baby galaxy is so distant and faint that it was invisible to previous telescopes. But thanks to James Webb's incredible sensitivity and resolution, we can now see it in unprecedented detail. We will explain how Webb detected this galaxy and what features it revealed, such as the glowing hydrogen gas and the hot young stars. We will also discuss what this discovery means for our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution and what questions it raises for future research. This is a rare and exciting opportunity to witness the birth of a galaxy, so stay tuned and let's dive into this cosmic mystery. The James Webb Space Telescope is a marvel of engineering and science, designed to explore the deepest and darkest secrets of the universe. One of its main goals is to study the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, which are extremely difficult to observe because they are very far away and very dim. To do this, the JWST uses a technique called gravitational lensing, which is a phenomenon where the gravity of a massive object bends the light from a distant object behind it, magnifying and distorting its image. This allows Webb to see objects that would otherwise be too faint or small to detect. One of these objects is a baby galaxy that was discovered by an international team of astronomers who are part of the Canadian NIRIS Unbiased Cluster Survey, or CANUCS, a project that uses one of the Webb's instruments, called NIRIS, to study the evolution of galaxies. The baby galaxy is located behind a massive cluster of galaxies called Max J0416-12403, which acts as a gravitational lens and amplifies its light by more than 10 times. The baby galaxy is so far away that its light took about 13 billion years to reach us, which means that we are seeing it as it was when the universe was only about 800 million years old, or less than 6% of its current age. The astronomers used James Webb's data to analyze this baby galaxy and its features. They found that it was actually the result of a merger of two smaller galaxies that collided and fused together. This merger triggered a burst of star formation, creating millions of hot young stars that shine brightly in ultraviolet light. Webb also detected glowing hydrogen gas around the baby galaxy, which is a sign of intense star formation and feedback. The hydrogen gas is ionized by the radiation from the stars, creating a bubble of plasma that emits light at a specific wavelength called Lyman Alpha, which is usually very hard to observe from such distant galaxies because it is absorbed by the intergalactic medium along the way. But thanks to the gravitational lensing effect, which boosts its brightness and shifts its wavelength, James Webb was able to capture it clearly. The baby galaxy is estimated to have a mass of about 2 billion times that of our Sun, which is comparable to some of the smallest galaxies in our local group, such as the Large Magellanic Cloud. However, it is much more compact and dense than these galaxies, with a size of only about 2,000 light years across, or about 20 times smaller than our Milky Way. It also has a very high star formation rate, producing about 200 solar masses of stars per year or about 100 times faster than our Milky Way. These characteristics make this baby galaxy an extreme and rare example of how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe. This discovery shows that galaxy mergers were already happening very early in the history of the universe, when it was still young and chaotic. Galaxy mergers are one of the main drivers of galaxy evolution, as they can change their shapes, sizes, masses, compositions, and star formation rates. They can also trigger the growth of supermassive black holes at their centers, which can affect their surroundings with powerful jets and winds. 
This baby galaxy is one of the first examples of a merger-driven galaxy in the early universe that we can observe directly with high-resolution images and spectra. It allows us to study how the merger process affected its structure, dynamics, chemistry, and feedback. It also gives us a glimpse of what our own galaxy might have looked like when it was young and undergoing mergers with other galaxies. However, this discovery also raises some questions and challenges for our current models of galaxy formation and evolution. For one thing, it is not clear how these two smaller galaxies managed to merge so quickly and efficiently, given the low density and high velocity of the universe at that time. It is also not clear how common or rare these merger-driven galaxies are in the early universe and how they compare with other types of galaxies that formed through different processes, such as gas accretion or fragmentation. Furthermore, it is not clear how these merger-driven galaxies evolve over time or what role they play in the cosmic web of structures that shape the universe. To answer these questions, we need more observations and data from the James Webb and other telescopes, as well as more sophisticated simulations and theories. This is just the beginning of a new era of exploration and discovery with the James Webb, which is a game changer for astronomy, as it opens up new windows of observation that were previously inaccessible or invisible. It has many scientific goals and objectives, covering a wide range of topics and fields, such as cosmology, exoplanets, stellar evolution, planetary formation, astrobiology, and more. It has already observed hundreds of candidate galaxies in the early universe using various surveys and programs, such as Canucks, which we mentioned earlier. These galaxies are selected based on their brightness, colors, shapes, or gravitational lensing effects. Some of them are confirmed by spectroscopic measurements, while others are still awaiting confirmation or follow-up observations. Some of them are similar to the baby galaxy that we discussed, while others are different or unique. These galaxies represent a rich and diverse sample of the early universe, which can reveal a lot about its history and physics. By studying these galaxies with Webb, we can learn more about their formation mechanisms, their star formation histories, their chemical compositions, their feedback effects, their interactions with each other and with their surroundings, their roles in shaping the cosmic web, and their connections to present-day galaxies. Webb is expected to operate for at least 10 years, during which it will continue to observe these galaxies and many more. It will also be complemented by other telescopes on the ground and in space, such as ALMA, SKA, Euclid, and more. Together, these telescopes will provide us with a comprehensive and unprecedented view of the early universe and its galaxies. This is one example of how James Webb is revolutionizing astronomy and opening up new windows of observation that were previously inaccessible or invisible. It is a game changer for studying the first galaxies. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and exciting about the cosmos. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.